Hey guys, so it is January 29th, it's a Friday, and I figured I would vlog for you guys, and it's like 7 in the morning, super early. I'm going to bleach my hair and color it because I, it's like dark and then like kind of blonde, so I figured I would vlog today for you guys. Couldn't find my normal memory card, so I'm using this one on it because... I haven't used it in a while, and the last time I used it, it, like, was corrupted. It's probably really not going to work, but it's worth a try, because I can't find my other memory card. So for the bleach, I'm just using the Schwarzkopf Blonde Me. Easy. Pearl. I have pearl here. Remember, I told you guys I'm on pearl. Pug, Pug Patrol. So 40 volume developer, I'm going to give it a good stir, and I don't mix a lot of bleach because my hair is pretty short, and I can always mix more, but it's a waste to dump this out because this like Schwarzkopf on me is like $30, maybe a little less, but still. Pretty expensive, so I like to just start at the hairline because for some reason my hairline is the most stubborn. My hair is growing like so ridiculously fast. All right, so I'm going to finish the rest of my hair, and I'll be back. I really don't want to bore you guys with a long video. We are completely covered, and what I'm going to do is let this sit for about 20 minutes, and then I'm going to comb through it and just make sure that it's, like, evenly distributed, even though it looks pretty good. Even though it's short, it's still pretty tricky because the way my hair is, it's very hard to get in between each piece of hair, and yeah, so... Now we so wait. I gave it a comb through and it's processing nicely. Probably another 15, 20 minutes and it'll be good. And what are you doing, Miss Cokes? You a good girl? Yeah. Who's that? That Pearl. That's Pearl. That's Pearl. That's Pearl. Come here, Pearl. Pearl, come here! Hi! There's a pool! The pool! Be nice. So I'm all bleached out. I'm just gonna wait for it to dry a little bit. It's a little damp. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some color in it. I only shampooed it. I didn't apply any conditioner, so I'll put the color in. And then after that, I will put conditioner in. But yeah. So now I have the purple color in my hair. I use conditioner with Joyco's Indigo and Joyco's Orchid, half and half, and this is the color. I can't wait for it to set and be done. It's gonna look sick. So I actually just wrapped up filming and it's almost, ugh, this lighting's horrible. Yeah, I don't know why my lighting's weird, but yeah, I just wrapped up filming and I think I'm going to go get groceries and go to TJ Maxx maybe and see if I can find some stuff for the house. It's always a work in progress. So. What are you doing, Queen Pearl? Huh? Are you queen? Are you queen? So yeah, um, I'm probably like the world's worst vlogger. But what had happened was my neighbor lost her dog, so I had to go help her find her dog. So that took up some time, and then as soon as that was over, I went and got groceries, and I went to TJ Maxx. So I kind of put everything away, but I'll quickly give you guys like a haul as I walk through the house. So the first two things I got from TJ Maxx was this clock. I've been really wanting a wall clock for my kitchen for a while and I finally found the perfect one and it was only $15. I 
And then this was only $13 on clearance. It says, why limit happy to an hour? It kind of goes with the whole theme in here because I got this wine is making me awesome. So I got that. And then I also got this and it says pop, fizz, clink. Just goes perfectly in the kitchen. Out here, I didn't get anything. So we're going to the bathroom because I got a few things in here. I got this new candle, which is Oriental Amber. And it smells so good. So I thought that'd be good for the bathroom. And then I got this conditioner by Fiori. I've never tried this, but I figured I would try it. It was only $7.99. And then I got the shampoo as well. Really needed a new shampoo and conditioner. I like trying new stuff. And it's got argan oil in it. So, and then I also got a new exfoliant. I always get all my exfoliants from TJ Maxx because I can always get them at this price and you literally can't beat that. So this is the Asquith and Somerset, the Sicilian Lemon Sugar Scrub. Oh, it smells so refreshing. So um, I use like these sugar scrubs or sea salt scrubs, whatever you want to call them, or just scrubs. Uh, once a week, every Sunday usually, just before I self-tan. This week I have it self-tan, so it's actually going to use it tonight and then self-tan because I'm looking so pale. So, yeah, that's that. And then I also got Adam this shampoo. It was just whatever. I was already there, and I figured I forgot to get it at the grocery store. So it's just the Bio Soap Color Therapy shampoo, and he doesn't even have colored hair, so... But anyway, I just picked up a random shampoo for him because he needed one. And that's everything in the bathroom. So, there's nothing in the bedroom except this bag. So, I just got this gray Calvin Klein matching booty shorts with the bra top. I love wearing these to bed. So comfy. And if I don't wear like a bra or something like this, like a little bralette, it doesn't have to be padded, but like a bralette, my boobs will hurt so bad the next day. So my mom was like, you need to keep them secured at night, wear like a bra. And so now I never go without a bra. And this was originally $28. I got it for $12.99. And then these were originally $22. And I got them for $9.99. Can't talk. Yeah, so you can find a lot of good stuff at TJ Maxx. And they're selling uh, Calvin Klein like crazy. So um, then I got this candle which is called Levitate Linen Breeze and just literally smells like fresh and amazing and I got it for $5. It smells like fresh clothes. And then I filmed a beauty room tour today and then I ended up getting some stuff for the beauty room so that's kind of a bummer but it's not a big deal. I got this, it says fashion fades, style is eternal and that is a quiet quote by Yves Saint Laurent and I just love it. It spoke to me, I was like, I have to get it. Perfect for my little corner. And then I also got this because it made me laugh. It said, my room was clean and then I had to decide what to wear. Story of my life. Literally, always, always changing my outfits. And then I just got this six pack of Puma socks because I needed new socks. So I think that's everything I got today. Not too exciting. <sighs> um, yeah, that's that's everything. And then I got groceries. That's not too exciting. Do you guys want to see my fridge? Mm, not really too exciting. But I'll show it to you. This is my fridge, guys. So I got Simply Mixed Berry. I got my almond milk, regular milk. I got these pomegranate uh, seeds, I guess. And pearls, what are they? These pomegranate jewels. I got two of those. And then I got three of the Chobani Flips uh, Key Lime Crumble, three of the Almond Loco Cocos. These are like legit my favorite eggs I didn't have to buy. We've had those. And then I just got some red peppers, green peppers, and asparagus. 
Got some ham and Swiss cheese for chicken cordon bleu. And then I got grated cheese. So yeah, my fridge is not too exciting. And then the freezer. Um, we got this New York Texas toast. If you guys have not tried this frozen garlic bread, definitely try it. It's amazing. Um, me and Adam just wanted to try it one night. And it's better than fresh bread. Like, you'd be surprised. Like, it, I was really surprised it was as good as it was. I got this um, beef, uh, chicken breast, ground beef, codfish. So, yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> you guys probably don't even care. The thing is that I wanted to share with you guys is that uh, me and Adam were spending a lot of money on groceries, like 150 to 200 and it was getting to the point where, okay, like, this is too much, you know, like, I can't be spending this money. So I went on Pinterest and, like, got some ideas, like, you know, couponing. I'm, I'm not really into couponing. I probably should do it. You can literally save so much money, but, you know, whatever. Um, but I saw that you need to plan your meals for the week, and then when it's time to grocery shop, you already have your meals planned out. So buy what you need. And then, obviously, you know, you're not going to plan for lunch and breakfast. I mean, if you need eggs, get eggs. If you need cereal, get cereal. Like, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I got those yogurts. We have eggs. I have pancake mix. All that. So, yeah, you plan out your meals for the week, and then you go and buy groceries. And, oh, my God, guys, it makes such a big difference. If you only buy what you need for the week, my groceries end up being anywhere from, like, 90 to $100. Today it was 115 Um... I mean, that's still better than 200 So I'll just show you guys, like, what I do. So, like, Wednesday, we had shredded beef tacos. Uh, last night, we had pork chops with mixed veggie and rice, and we actually had that. Tonight is pizza night, so there's no cooking. Saturday, sweet potato sloppy joes. And then Sunday, chicken cordon bleu, scallop potatoes, asparagus. Monday is creamy pesto pasta, garlic bread, uh... Tuesday is meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and frozen veggies. And then Wednesday, steak stir-fry with peppers served over brown rice. Um, Thursday is lemon, garlic, cod, baked rice, mixed veggie. And then obviously Friday again is takeout night. And then I'll just keep doing it, and it literally saves so much money. And then you know what you're going to have for the week. And when you go to find something, it's not like it's not there. Because that was also another thing that would annoy me is like I would – like be like, okay, I have this and this and this. So I'd start making something and I wouldn't have one thing. Like this way you know what you need. So like you know how fresh herbs tend to like rot quick? Well, if you know you need it and you're going to use it within that week, it's worth it. So yeah, that's just something I wanted to share with you guys because it's made a huge difference in our expenses. So it definitely can for you. And obviously only buy things on sale. I used to buy everything name brand. <laughs> I don't anymore. I don't even care. Like, name brands don't even matter unless it's on sale. Otherwise, it's like, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, certain things, obviously, you know, I try to be a stickler about not getting anything other than name brand. But, yeah, I mean, you can get a lot of stuff for reasonable prices. So, yeah, I just want to share it with you guys. So, I'm going to do my nails, and I'm going to paint them blanc by Essie, and it's just a white matte white so yeah all the dogs are eating we went to the pet store and got some new food for the dogs and then earlier today at the grocery store i got these the dogs love them this is nature's goodness uh grain free barbecue beef recipe with tomato and then i also get the wild game recipe with apple and it's grain free and they love these and then another thing is my dogs love are these bully sticks they're so expensive but our dogs literally love them they smell so bad too but they make our dogs happy you happy coco so um another thing if your dogs pee in the house well coco pees in the house and sometimes the pug does, is this nature, Nature's Miracle Stain and Odor Remover. It's good for urine, poop, drool, vomit, and other pet messes. So you can use it on carpets, floors, furniture, clothing, and more. And it just really helps 
to, you know, get it out because urine and all that is so, so annoying. And then along with that, we got these little pads for Coco because she is actually um, litter box trained and we're trying to break her of that. And they said after we got her fixed, she should be able to like, it will be easier to break her like of that. It's so annoying though, so. I'm going to put these pee pads out. So a lot of you guys have been asking about Roscoe. Where is he? Why isn't he in your vlogs? And to be honest, especially having Pearl here, we kind of keep him in his own room. He has his own room. The spare bedroom is his room. He's got all his toys and his bedding and his bones in there and whatnot. Um, we try to keep them separated when we're not home and... and sort of get them together when we are home and train them and, and try to work with them but Coco is very nippy towards Roscoe so it's very like it's like that fine line that me and Adam have to walk because one little thing from her will result in him you know attacking her attacking and it's just we don't want that so we've been trying to avoid that we don't want to like keep it like this forever where he can you know, only come out such and such times. We want them to be able to hang out all the time, but we have to teach them boundaries and it's gonna take time. So um, we feed them separate. I fed Pearl in my bedroom. Coco eats out here and Roscoe eats in his room. So everybody gets fed separately because there's no way. Coco stay. I'm doing it. Back it up. I'm coming in. Hi. Thank you haven't seen you so long. Hi, babies. Hi. Look what I got for you. Your favorite. Is it all your favorite? It's a bobby ring. Oh, hold on. Hold on, babies. Hold on. Oh, okay. Let me just get the wrapper off. Oh, let me get the wrapper off. There you go. You've got your bobby stick. So, yeah, he eats in here. He's got his bed and his blankets and, you know. It's not like we ignore him. We love him. I just gave him a bath the other day. We're just slowly trying to get them to socialize and get back together. I mean, they play together. We go on walks together, but it's just, um, you know, we are just trying to, to be careful. We don't want an incident to happen again. So He will tear through this bully stick like you wouldn't believe. It's so crazy how fast he goes through it. They love these, and I think he likes it more than his ham bone over there. I don't know what it is about them, but they love them. Good boy. He is a good boy. We're going to make it work here as a family, you know. It's just... I mean, he's so, like, his temper is amazing. Look, he's got his bone. He would never hurt me. It stinks, though. Like, he's just such a good boy, you know. Coco is just a little nippy at times, so. But, yeah, he's here. We still have him. You know, we consider giving him away to, a, you know, a nice home. But we just, no. We'd rather keep him and make it work. He's a part of our family. You know, we had him before we had Coco, and we just want to make it work, you know. But, yeah, so this is his little room. And he loves it. It's like his own little space, you know. We didn't want to put him in a cage because I just, I don't know, I don't like that idea. So I figured, you know what, what we can do is give him the spare bedroom. He likes the rings for some reason, the bully stick rings. He seems to enjoy them more. He's got a town on it. You good boy? Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm going to leave you with the bone. He's like, yeah, see you later. Enjoys. Enjoys. So anyway, Adam went to pick up pizza. I literally haven't eaten anything all day. Same with so fast. And it's like 8.20. And I got the perfect guy on demand. Me and Adam saw it in theaters, but it's a pretty good movie. It's with Michael Ely. It says a successful lobbyist jumps into a new relationship shortly after breaking up with her non-
committal boyfriend, but when her ex resurfaces, be nice, she soon realizes that one of the two men is not who he appears to be. So, yeah. That's luminous mood exposure. And this is another one. This is Luminous Flush. Mood exposure is gorgeous. I love the love, the love. I see you. 